Welcome back to Good Morning Sri Lanka for the second segment of this show and we've been discussing holistic healing uh, with Gaia and uh, good morning Gaia once again. Good morning to you. And we're back on the show, yes. back in front of camera. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so holistic healing, mm -hmm. how did you get into it? By accident, um, I would say by accident because my initial plan was to uh, go abroad. Um, I went to Australia, I went to Melbourne. Um, through my bachelor's in criminal justice administration, so completely different area. Mm -hmm. And then um, life kind of put me on the path of um, holistic healing. I started asking questions about certain things, you know, like why does these type of things happen, and you know, what what should I do to make the quality of my life better? And questions led to answers. And was it, if you don't mind me asking, mm -hmm. um, we don't have to get into detail with, mm -hmm. but was it a certain personal problem or something that led of you? Of course, there? of course. Okay. Um, it, it's the experiences or the situa situations that I was put in that made me question and uh, made me want to evolve and you know be the strongest, most beautiful version of myself. So yeah. I see. All right then. <laughs> um, so where did you get your training? All over. So um, what I do you did, mean by all over? Okay. So um, when I was in Melbourne, um, I did a lot of study, and um, after I came back to Sri Lanka, I, I got my official Reiki attunement, and then after that, I travelled to the Himalayas, which was an amazing trip, and um, did a bit of studying there as well. So yes. Wow. Yeah. Great. So mm. here in Sri Lanka, um, yeah. how long have you been practicing? So I've been here for two years. Two years. Two years, and um, I've been practicing. I would say for the past one and a half, but unofficially, I would say. But then the official practicing started very recently, and because um, I didn't, I was not into promoting myself, and you know, this is what I do type of thing. Just people who wanted to experience it sort of came, and you know, word of mouth and stuff like that. But yeah. I see. And um, how is there a big audience here in Sri Lanka who are into this kind Definitely of Definitely growing. Um, compared to the state Sri Lanka was in two years ago, now like everyone's interested, everyone wants to know. Because I think people are asking more questions these days. Um, and there are other holistic healers, brilliant holistic healers, and we collaborate sometimes. And, you know, it, it, it's a beautiful thing. And uh, we always say, it's happening. You know, it's happening now. You know, Sri Lanka is really getting into the whole new age alternate type of um, wellness mm -hmm. yeah so you think there's a lot of lots of potential here in Sri Lanka definitely yes it's a beautiful island to start with and um, not just Sri Lankans we get we get the foreigners or the tourists interested as well so definitely a lot of potential um, if you take the entire world as a where, where would you say geographically would be the best place or the highest amount of practicing when it comes to holistic healing Ironically, it's the Western, like, world, America and Australia and England and, you know, and obviously places like India and the Himalayas, like, I experienced amazing things over there. But things um, or disciplines or methods that were found in the East are now being practiced more in the West. I see. But I think it's time to bring it back to the, um, the East and really, like, get it going. But, yeah. And um, also, okay... This is not a conventional form of healing mm. and I'm sure you've come across different kinds of opinions or, 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 or yeah, I'm sure a lot of people would have had a lot of things to say about it. Mm. The non-believers. Yep. Um, what are those remarks like usually? Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Like if, if, if they, you can't force healing, you know, you, you give when they're ready to receive. So there's nothing much that I would, I would not spend a lot of time trying to convince someone who is not, who, who will try to beat me with experience or, you know, their side of, you know, I mean, I respect everyone's opinion. There's, there's Have you ever much. come across someone you've helped out who did not believe in it at first? I actually did, a, a few times. Uh. Yes. And their attitude just changed, changed. completely? Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, a proud moment one, th <laughs> yeah, but one thing though, I didn't, I didn't expect it to work because I, I honestly believe that you need to um, believe that it's going to work for you, but uh, it actually did happen for no. quite a few people. Okay, now I hear that you've got a, work a series of workshops planned on the 10th of May. That's right. Um, Karu. 
tell us a little bit about that. Okay, so this I'm very passionate and excited about because I think this is actually my true calling and my life purpose because I've been wanting, wanting to work with women for the longest time, but I've been working with children and I got, um, I got really comfortable working with children. And, um, and I sort of neglected my, my true calling, but um, from the 10th of May, I'll be starting a, a series of workshops to empower women, to um, um, help them become independent. And um, when, you, when I say independent, um, I'll give you an example. Just as you would need to take a shower to you know, be clean and work out to keep your physical wellness you know, mm -hmm. uh, good, you, you need to keep your energetic hygiene really clean as well. You need to cleanse. And, and the reality we live in right now, I think, is quite fragmented. And women have taken up masculine roles. You know, they have to get things done. They have to take care of this person and that person. So I think it's time to um, get in touch with that feminine essence of you. And that's this quote that I really love and I always think of. And um, it says that we are created um, through the womb of the universe. And us women have the blueprint of that creation within our wombs. So not only can we uh, create life in our wombs, we can also create the type of realities that we would like to experience on a mental, physical, um, psychic, or even spiritual level. So I think women are really powerful. And um, a lot of us don't know how powerful we are. So I think it's, it's really time to um, get in touch with that. So um, I'll be, I'll be um, hosting my workshops at Nelung Art Center in Hyde Park from the 10th of May. And it's called The Master Feminine because um, I think it's all about being a master um, at being a fem at, um, in evoking your feminine essence. So, yep. This is the Nelum uh, Art Center, Art Center at, at Hyde Park, you said? Hyde Park, right next to Apico. <laughs> right, okay. um, also, um, Gaia, if, if anyone wants to actually attend the workshop, what's the process like to get um, in? They can basically call me. Um, the number would be 077-072-9211. Okay. Or you can um, find uh, the Master Feminine uh, Facebook page. Mm -hmm. That's www.facebook.com forward slash T-H-E the Master M-A-S-T-E-R Feminine F-E M-I-N-I-N-E. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> Ten points of spelling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, there you go. If you do want to get in touch with Gaia, especially on spiritual or holistic, holistic healing, um, or if you also want to, you know, participate in her workshop, which is on the 10th of May, you can contact her on 0770-729-211. That's 0770-729-211. Or visit her Facebook page on just www.facebook.com slash the master feminine. That's slash the master feminine. <laughs> so, thanks a lot for being with us this morning on the show. Is there any last advice that you can give our viewers when it comes to holistic healing? Um, is it okay if I address the ladies? Sure, no problem. Okay, so we have, um, as women, um, especially in the third world, we have got so used to uh, neglecting ourselves, so it's time to really take care of ourselves and love ourselves and uh, to really start believing in ourselves. So um, take back your power, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just go for her workshop and find out how. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Fair to say? <laughs> yep. All right, cool. So thanks a lot, Gaia, for being with us uh, on the show this morning. Um, of course, uh, the show doesn't end here. We've got uh, a few more segments coming up, but it, I'll be saying bye-bye for the moment, and so will she. So enjoy your Monday and the rest of the week. That's me saying bye-bye. Stay tuned. We'll, we'll be right back on Good Morning Sri Lanka. <laughs>